welcome back to RimWorld, the Krieg Campaign. Last episode, we began the offensive to retake this world in the name of the Imperium. We destroyed a Neanderthal camp to the north, Camp of Mutants. And we're going to follow that up today by setting up a outpost that will let us push that offensive even further afield. Yeah, the Wu Floating Camp has been destroyed. Relationships with other Actions on the planet have improved, and we actually became allies to Kevians, which we should have been all along. But yeah. yeah, here's all the positive relationships we got. The 13 refugees we had staying have now left. Haven't got a prize or a award or anything for that. That might come a little later. Found some plasteel. And the transonic blade was made. This is pretty cool. This is for our Sakarian Ruststalker. It's a special weapon that avoids armor, completely bypasses armor. So in, in combat extended terms, it has 12,000 millimeters of RHE penetration, and yeah, it bypasses armor. Pretty good weapon. It'll look pretty cool on sign. In between episodes, we've just been gathering resources in preparation for the expedition. So a whole bunch of stone blocks, we're up to 6,000 steel. These little pulse drills have just been consistently, yeah, there we go, knocking out steel, which is pretty awesome. Plasteel is still a huge bottleneck. No reliable way of getting that in any meaningful level at the moment. And we've been deep drilling uranium here, which I think will be our primary building resource for the new outpost, as it's a pretty hefty good wall. Yeah, multiple times better than anything else we have. I think I'm going to send Beta Squad on the expedition to build up a new outpost, but we're going to have to make some changes, I think. I think Lady will be transferring to Alpha Squad. Okay, so Lady is in Alpha Squad now. Eli is coming out. Eli is going to take charge of Beta Squad. Okay, yeah, we got a prisoner or two from that missions last time, and one of them is going berserk. Meh. Eli, come and beat them up. Yeah, this, uh, I don't know, heretical Mechanicus, rogue Mechanicus pawn here. Definitely not part of the local Legio. So he's ours to deal with as we like. And he has, she has a wealth of bionics. Blood, please don't shoot. Ah, oh, that's all. Uh, yeah, we're taking their bionics out, is what I meant to say. Okay, so Eli is now in charge of Beta Squad. And I think along with Beta Squad, because nobody has building skills in this group. None whatsoever. I think Sai will go along with them. He's a great builder. With that new transonic blade, should provide pretty serious backup for defending that outpost. Yeah, we got that bionic eye already. That's for Jerk, I believe. Yeah, a body modder who is frustrated. Let's just go ahead. Keep forgetting to do this. Gonna get yourself an eye, Jerk. Yeah. Oh yeah, a few additions to the base. Began setting up automated food production here. Turned it off for now because it's basically done. <laughs> Grind up all the corpses, stuff them into the metal crates. We've even got a vegetable crate here. And the, the two of them output to our industrial cooker, which is just completely cleared. It looks like we've not got a lot of food, but there's actually stacks and stacks of food in both of these crates. Awesome. Got a few more turrets on the outside now, at least two on every face and a searchlight. One change that Combat Extended makes is it makes it easier to shoot people that are lit up and harder to shoot people that that are in darkness, so it's kind of opposite to the way pretty much regular room world works, so that searchlight should help quite a bit. Yeah, at least a couple of turrets on each face. This is a lot harder. And this. There's a good suggestion from somebody about putting pillboxed turrets in, and I went ahead and put one of these internally. This should help with demonic infestations, which seem to happen pretty regular. I'd like to get a few more of these little uh, internal pillboxes set up. To guard some of the valuable internal spaces. Hey, jerk, you get that eye? Awesome. Yosh, what happened to you? You getting a fight? 
you also need an eye. Ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a think about removing these prisoners' bionics here. I think we can take them all. We take the stomach last in case uh, something goes wrong. We'll let our guys heal up first and we'll turn this into a prisoner hospital. Yeah, we've still got a couple of other prisoners. You guys are here just to feed the gene extractor. We can't harvest you again for a good while. What have we got so far? Super immune. Wow, that's good. Great mining. Heat tolerant. Strong melee. Oh god, yeah, nice. Also got delicate, which I have no interest in really. Yeah, I'll dump that probably before long. And how are our Psyker prisoners? We're working on wearing them down. Oh, you've had your resistance completely broken and are being converted. So we'll see if Adrastia is happy with your progress, whether she wants to allow you to live, join her retinue or not. Okay, first thing in the morning, we'll head our guys out. So I was, last episode I was talking about this crossroad. Still, uh, I think the best choice for a forward operating base or an outpost. I think I suggested, yeah, I mean, going one tile off to the side uh, as a position to observe the outpost works just as well for lore. Tactics and lore. So let's have a look around. This looks pretty good. Uh, the mountainous one to the north here. I think it's a no-no. The lake just makes building a nightmare. Although the cluster of cluster of mountains around it is quite cool. Yeah, none of these are jumping out at me. Yeah, I think the crossroad works out pretty well. Radium weapons. Awesome. Now we can get out our regular Skitari. Haven't got any yet. It was Jerk. I think Jerk was... Yeah, and now you've been properly inducted. You have at least one Bionic at least. You can start turning you into a Skitari. Gonna need tech prints now to do it properly. We're gonna want to at least get your arms and legs swapped out. Yeah, let's have a look at the armor. Harry Legionnaire armor. Tech guard. Yep. Cool. Galvanic rifles. Yep. Yeah, you're going to get irradiated, aren't you, by these weapons. <laughs> yeah, this slows down your work speed, makes you more resistant to toxicity, and carry more as well. That's cool. Okay, what's that cost? 80 plasteel, 10 hyperweave. Okay, get that up there. Now, a ranger helmet or a vanguard helmet? Okay, you get more work speed bonuses, weapon handling goes up, and you have smoke sensitivity. Vanguard. Looks kind of the same. Armor sharp. Yeah, they look kind of similar to me, so I'm going to go Ranger Helmet. Yeah, I'm going to want some Bionics. So how about an arm and a leg? What do we research next? Yeah, I want some better artillery. I hope we go with the Vanilla Expanded Artillery. See how that looks. Yeah, a good choice. Yeah, everybody awake? Yeah, let's get going. Beta squad, which will take some Mukai. Let's see how it's going to take 1.6 days with nothing. Let's see once we start loading them up how long it's going to take to get there. Probably a decent amount of steel. How much could they carry? 800, that's all we took. So what about 300 steel to begin with? It's not really enough, but let's just try it. Ammunition, probably a smart idea to take some of this with us. What about auto rounds? How about... Yeah, we just take all the auto iron ammunition with us. Get auto cartridges for Eli. The wooden crates, we can store everything. That's spare now. But we can get wood when we're there. Having a bit, that would be a good idea. About 250 wood. Some spare grenades. Okay, uranium. How much can we take? 136. Let's take another Mukai. We can get that for like 250. Yeah, we can. Okay. Gonna want to take components. Let's take... 30 components. I think my Moo can always make more components. Pretty quick at it now. Okay, 400 steel. Now we need more. Okay, a fourth Mukai. Start loading up food then. Food medicine. Which we should take quite a bit of, of each. 30 herbal meds. Got so much of this stuff. 50. I think package survival meals would be a good idea. Take all the pemmican too. I suppose hay for the, the animals is what we're going to need. We've got a, a lot of it. 
a thousand hay, a little bit of extra yayo for mood management, as well as tea. It's a pretty good start, I think. Near enough maxed out this caravan. Let's go. It can take three days to get there. We've got a healthy amount of food, medicine, materials. Let's go. Little Max here, the Child of the Inquisitors, continuing to develop. Aged four. I need to get a second growth tier here. So the education's going well. Hey team, good luck. Nice, Bionic Arms ready. Yeah, we've been pretty much using up all of our power. Now with the extra turrets, the drill, kitchen setup, so I had to turn it off. So, I went ahead and built these walls down here and got some power set up. So, all we need to do is then build another geothermal. Definitely got the resources for it. You guys can work on that while our crew are heading north. Yep, education is going well. And some dragons. Ah, oh, damn, I forgot to send Sai. Ah, oh, well, okay, you need to drop Podju over then in there, Sai. That's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, not again. 64 Scythers. Oh. Yeah, I don't even want to deal with that right now. <laughs> We're just going to leave them alone. The defoliator will not be an issue for our growing for a very long time, if ever. More than 100 tiles away, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's not even going to be an issue. Until somebody turns up and wakes them up, not an issue. We've still got this one to deal with as well, actually. Okay, I think I want to get this done. So, we're going to see for prisoners. You should get out of there. And move you over. We're going to start taking out your bionics. Okay, how about we remove your ear? Aesthetic shaper. Love enhancer. Then circadian assistant. And finally, the sterilizing stomach. Come on, sit move. Okay, nice. Straight on to the next one. Pretty sure Paige needs an ear. Yeah. Beautiful. Don't know who will get the shaper. It's the love enhancer. This could be risky. This is a circadian assistant. It's a brain surgery, so... Let's see how this one goes. Success. And then the stomach. Don't think this will kill them. I think you can, you can survive without the stomach. Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, that's a healthy amount of bionics. Well, the love enhancer can go to... Who's still in a relationship? I think Tragit has a love enhancer, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Or oh, Paige is married to... Blood and Paige got married. When did that happen? <laughs> then I think Adrastia has to get her own room. <laughs> we need another room for a couple. Crisis of belief on Toro. Awesome. It's a shame. I think you felt the wrong religion. Yeah, let's do some surgeries on our people then. Paige needs an ear. What does circadian assistant do again? It reduces your need for sleep. Well, that could be good for Paige. It does do a lot of construction and crafting and stuff. Yeah, I think while she's under, also install a circadian assistant. Although, to be honest, I think probably Sai. He's going to be going away to this other colony. Yeah, actually, I think Sai's going to get that circadian assistant. Get the ear. Sai, we'll go ahead and queue you up for circadian assistant. Get Tragets. You're a good doctor. I'm going to let you try this. Success. So Sai, yep, now has a circadian assistant. Really, so you'll be able to stay a week much longer over the new base, getting it ready. We won't give you anything else. You've already got a nuclear stomach, armor skin. Could give you the aesthetic. That makes you ugly, doesn't it? The armor. Yeah, that lowers your beauty. But you're gonna be out there on your own. Maybe we'll give that to Jerk. Yeah. So hopefully we're gonna get some like skin, armor skin, or stones, gonna something for Jerk. 
we will give that to them. Sterilizing stomach, broad spectrum filtration, eat almost anything without worrying about food poisoning. Not sure who we'll give that to. Probably Jerk as well. Could turn them full Skithari. Yeah, guys, we've still got a few days away. Okay, artillery is done. Be able to make properly, yeah, 20 tiles on the world. That is pretty good. We're gonna need some more artillery. What do you call it? Barrels. I wonder if I'd be constructed one of these if we'd get back a barrel. I think it's worth trying. Yay. I think we got an arm and a leg there. It's gonna go to jerk, wasn't it? Yeah. Turn jerk into a cyborg. So we'll give you about a left leg and a right arm. Anything else in here we want to give you? Yeah, the stomach, I think. Oh my god, Bell. I mean, you're a medical of nine. What, why are you doing this? Fantastic. This fall, so we've got the arm and the leg, and now we go for the stomach. Okay, quest. The impressive building. The local nobility want us to build a huge monument. Um, that's much larger than I'm probably willing to do. An integrator headset. Okay, it's biotech character stuff. Persona core. Uh, I don't know what we'd use that for. It is pretty unique, and my god, that's a lot of uranium. We really need plasteel though. How big is this? That's a lot of material. Got two days to think about it. 49 by 24, that is a little on the chunky side. Yeah, that's ridiculous really, isn't it? We would need to build it in just like a completely unsecure location. What is the quest? Picked it for 27 days. If we don't, we get 37 insect, 36 insect hives. Uh, I would love the plasteel, I just don't think that's a goer. Oh, you got your stomach. Nice. Yeah, Jerk is well on the way to being a Skitari. Check on that armor. 80 plasteel. Got six. Oh, I suppose we're making advanced components, so yeah, that number is not going to get any better anytime soon. Any prisoners going nuts again? Lady. Come and beat him up. You're a six in melee. Oh, there are ten. Yeah. I'll bet on Lady. He's level seven. Nice. Mod Lady. Take her ass. Beautiful. Oh, Manhunter Pack. Uh, is person okay? Destroyed their toe. Okay. Okay, everybody, stay in the bastion. Check out this manhunter pack. Polar bears. Wow. <laughs> we eat polar bears. <laughs> Not a problem. Emma squad. Wiki wiki. Hands. I do not want you using the flamer on them. <laughs> The spotlight, nice. What does that do to them? Yeah, dazzled by lights. Shooting fish in a barrel. Pretty tough polar bears. Ugh, too deep as well. Okay, uh, Alpha Squad. Okay, he's out here. Cool. Have we dealt with all the polar bears? Yes, we have. I was beta team getting on. You're on the road now, which is good. You should speed up your progress. And you're one and a half days away. Conversion. 
Drastia has managed to convert Albio. She's decided that they are not heretical, that they are sufficiently not heretical that they can be seen brought into the Emperor's light. Yes. Yep, Imperial Cult. Okay. We've already reduced your resistance, so let's go ahead and recruit you. Oh, that should happen any time now. That was Toro. Oh, there's a prison break. Toro's got a bit of work to do. Albio's trying to escape. No. Alboyo. Okay, uh... Donaldson? Please, these guys don't kill. Don't kill them. I'm going for the weapons. Knock them out. Knock them out. <laughs> Let's get to the grenades. Come on! We don't store loaded weapons, so we're okay. Oh, nice job, guys. This one down as well. Wow. Destroyed leg. Destroyed nose. Missing an arm. Wow. Rough stuff here. Okay, well that is a good lesson in why you don't keep around too many prisoners. And you know what, Vaus? We do not have any use for you anymore. Vaus, you're gonna be executed. It's gonna be a draft here, where are you? Oh, caravan ambush! Ugh. Right now! Okay. What is it? Oh, the wasters, of course it is. Seven humans. Ooh, is that a grenade launcher? Probably tox grenades. Yeah, that's probably fine. Good job, team. So, damn it. It was a pu awkward public education. Uh, dragged on. So, uh, damn it. Minus one mood. Yeah, so we got rid of that prisoner. How are these ones? Could be like nine days until we can extract more genes from them. Yeah, the drones are working out nicely. I haven't set up this puller yet. Probably should do that. What do we need ten components, a robotic arm, and a small machine frame. Turn this on. Robotic arm and a small machine frame. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of components to make. We should really do, actually. Let's pause that. Take these off. Yes, we recruited Albio! The Psyker. Farrell, do you want to rescue them? Get them in the hospital quickly. Hey. You know where the recon helmet? No. Right, well, you're going to be part of the, uh, the Inquisitor's retinue. We probably need a new outfit for Psyker slash Inquisitorial retinue. Things like Psyker backpack, a Psyker hood. Yeah, we might have to try and make some of those. I think these can wear shield belts. I'm not sure if I'll give you a gun. These are Psykers. You might just use your Psy abilities. Be like light stuff if you can find it. So how badly wounded are you, Albio? Alboy? You know what? I'm gonna rename you two. Had a request. Rename a character. So let's do it. You're going to be named as Windell. There you go. A psyker. <laughs> yeah, let's check out how badly injured we he got in prison. So you need an arm? That's it at the moment, okay. You up an arm then. Okay, back to what I was talking about. Um Components is absolutely the thing, the bottleneck at the moment. Manufacturing components. The basic assembler, I believe, said it was such as components. Yeah, yeah. How about a basic assembler? Well, how about we put you down here? 
you. What you're going to need an advanced machine frame, two arms, an advanced machine frame. What is this costing us? 20 components. Otherwise, not too bad. Take a little bit of time to do that. Stay away for these guys. You know that Sai has the circadian assist. I think that's almost like being a quick sleeper. I think we want to change Sai to the alternative. Let me just fix Wendell for a second here. Yeah, rather than being like an eight hour sleep during the night, bring that down to two, two four hour sleeps. They call this biphasic, I think. The experts um, yeah, look about even. Ah, that's about right. You're not quite a night owl, obviously. You're not quite a day person either. You're just more efficient, I think, for the more efficient sleep schedule. Okay, let's use prisoner containment research here. Yeah, a jail door. Yeah, seems like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, your team have made it. Let's settle. <laughs> what on this map? <laughs> Just immediately tamed, self tamed a buffalo, okay. Have a look at this place then. Okay. Looks like we've got an ancient danger. Let's check out Steam Geysers first of all. It's seven. Okay, so where's the usable ones? Probably here. Okay, well, I, I likely want to make use of a steam geyser here. Well, I'm going to build it right away for planning purposes. And I don't want anything too fancy here, just uh, the kind of basics. Rain affordance, ah, that sucks a bit. I'll have to build bridges over all of this. Got some insects in there. And this does, in fact, yeah, that is the actual road out of this place. Wow, that is a treacherous, dangerous road, that. <laughs> through the caves. Okay, I think we've got that just in case we want to see build a wall around this. Leaves us a gap of two. A bit like, I don't know, pillbox or whatever design. And that's probably the best we can do for now. Yeah, screw it. Give that a go. Set up some zones just to begin with. And we better send Sai over here. Okay, Sai, let's get you loaded up in a transport pod. Grab yourself a good bedroll. What else are we going to send these guys? Probably more uranium. Then again, some marble. Mm. Something to make interior walls would be probably a good idea. Some leather for sandbags would be good as well. You guys should haul, be hauling all this stuff. Going okay, to need somewhere to put the Mukai as well. Although we might send them back. Well, then again, this is the forward operating base. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, I'm going to call this place the... Crossroads Forward Operating Base. Till we get a better name, that'll do. Do you have the mod that lets you rename? So, you guys can think of something good, let me know. Else we can change it in the future. See how Sai's getting on. Ready for launch? Yes, you are. Let's land you just in the middle of the stockpile. Nice one. Okay, now we can get the walls queued up now that Sai's here. Want to use uranium as much as possible. I suppose we want to get the storeroom and some sort of living quarters done. Go with uh, steel doors for the moment. Hmm. Okay guys, I'll check back on my use when you've woken up. Yeah, we should probably pick a research project out for this place too. Finished prisoner containment there. Make use of that. These all always sound cool. Last door's a bit expensive for the moment. Maybe a little bit more automation. What would we get? A bit of advanced sorting systems. It's a cheap one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we got the arm done, didn't we? Ionic arm. So we can get Wendell here a left arm. Now Moo, do you mind doing that please? So we'll do it at night time. Perfect. You're largely 
useful again. Still got a lot of uh, prison related injuries, but yeah. You took out your Psyker management. Oh yeah. So you don't have much in the way of XP, but your Psyker management actually works. I think that near enough proves the point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know why Adrastia's Psyker management isn't working. It's because of the way Adrastia was created. Uh, it's created by the Reunion mod. That lets you set up cool things where, you know, you go and find missing members of your party and things like that. But it doesn't play too well with the Corruption Core Psyker mod, 40k mod. And that's why we've lost this. I might have a workaround, but it'll take some time. For the moment, I'll sort of rig it. <laughs> Make it work, kind of. But it works properly for Wendell here. All we need is some XP. You can pick Discipline. I've already got a crazy selection of stuff. Yeah. This is like, I think, across all different kinds of... Uh, disciplines. But yeah, plenty to play with there anyway. Turn hold fire off actually, you can just use your psycho powers. Yeah. Can't wait to try that out. Hey, Deadlift's having an ambrosia binge. Because he slept in the cold. Big wuss. Yeah, we've got advanced sorting systems done, that's good. Wendell's having a work inspiration, that's cool. And, uh, one of our prisoners is doing something I don't care about. Nice, we got this place kind of secured at least. At least a couple of rooms. Probably, oh, Psychic Binge on Tulb. Yeah, these people are breaking pretty hard. Get those beds laid out, nice one, Sai. Yeah, yeah, get the crate put in there, that'll help a lot with our storage. Here yeah, we've got 100 uranium left over. Gonna have to send more. How much do, how much do embrasures cost? Five. Get a lot of these done, actually. Yeah, almost an entire wall we could get done. And it might be worth starting that. We're going to get attacked before too long. I wonder if we even put in, like, that. And then even if we just had a couple of, I don't know, even wood walls. At the end there, just as placeholders. Yeah. Yeah, that way we'd have at least some defences here. <laughs> Inevitably something shows up. Okay, you can see the auto butcher setup going here. Nice, there we go. Yep, butcher the polar bears. Immediately fires it into the meat stack here. And goes on to be getting cooked. I think they're actually kind of full on meals at the moment, but... Yeah, we've done about half of our meat there, so... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Okay, you've got an exotic goods trader turned up. Median exotic goods trader. A well-armed party. They are our allies, though, so I don't have any... particular desire to see them get slaughtered by the Scythers. Ooh, we got the advanced machine frame done as well, nice. Not too far away from having that auto component maker thing. We could buy components and I'm going to do that just to save some time. And the advanced ones too. Glitter world, I think we should definitely always buy that. We can have our luciferium glass deal. I'm really tempted to buy that too. You want our delicate? Yeah, I don't want delicate. Gene pack. Got side trainers actually. I think we've already got Burden on Drastia. Skip's way too high, isn't it? That's like... Level 4, yeah. Could buy another Circadian Assistant. We tempted an Architect Eye, yes. Telescope, yeah, hell yeah. Wow, you get a lot of good stuff, guys. That was... Really nice. Could we sell you anything else? Nah, you could buy our Mukais, but... I don't really want to sell them. 7,000? It's quite a lot. <laughs> You really don't want to buy anything from us. Oh well. Goes that way sometimes. That is a lot of cool stuff. Another home of entertainment there and a telescope. Where will we put that? Probably just down here, I think. Good tech guy. Almost certainly going to go to Sigma Mu. Our Magos biologist. But we'll see. How is our colony getting on? 
Okay, thanks getting us some limestone bricks. We got the absolute basics done. Oh, we found some steel. Yeah, let's put a sort of nicer wall in the inside here. Do limestone. Yeah, we've got a very basic table, chairs, bedroll, entertainment setup going here. Just a dark, concre dark concrete storeroom in here with our wooden crate. Yeah, I just got more clever in that end at the moment. I want to keep meals and medicine and ammunition out of that, I think. I suppose we could stick a parallel in there. Is everybody woken up? Yeah, everybody's no longer in a mental state. How are your moods though? Well, oh, fantastic, you've got catharsis, okay. Not too bad. A little bit on the edge. That'll get better. And generally okay. Pretty good start to this place actually. Gonna need more materials though. Yeah, we're just grabbing a little bit of limestone there so we can get a storage put in here. Nobody's hauling that right enough, but as we can keep the animals outside. I think uh well there's our muffalo. <laughs> I think probably want to keep going with the embrasures. Try and get a proper exterior defense set up. Probably to there. Probably a bit of an airlock here. Gonna need more uranium, so let's sit, let's get that set up. How much more uranium? Do I send too much? So 125 does one side. 250, 375, probably about 500. I would think wouldn't be too, wouldn't be overdoing it. I'm just gonna be getting one pod. 150 per pod? Okay, we'll be doing this a little bit at a time then. <laughs> What the hell do we have here? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> of all the places you can get a ship crash, right on top of the bloody scythers. Well, that could be a good thing. Get everybody inside the base, uh, actually, let's do both bases. At least this place is secured now. Far from complete. But at least a Manhunter pack or something shows up. Not gonna be an issue. Oh, we've got some friendlies. Hmm. But we need a couple of minutes anyway to get things sorted. Um, Blut, can you please drop the jump pack? Gonna want Zeke. Put that on. And Zeke, I need you to switch back over cannon. Yeah, auto cannon. Yeah, while we're waiting for Zeke to get up. Yeah, I did finish the basic assembler down here. Pretty damn expensive to make this thing. And I've set up, uh, I've copied the bills over from the fabrication bench. Literally just copied them. They'll both be doing exactly the same bill. Now all we need to do is get supplies feed into this. All you need for components is steel. It's gonna be pretty easy to set up. We'll have a steel crate here actually the one that was up here wow that is weird <laughs> okay hopefully they'll sort that out um yeah so we'll fill this up with steel we'll have a puller that'll drop the steel in here and then this will just knock out components put them there and how fast this is and hopefully it's reasonably quick it'll help a lot out no matter what yeah, it's chicken and the bionics as well. Okay, yeah. Right, we picked up an old eye from the trader, a circadian assistant. I mean, it would probably be Sigma Moon to get the architect eye. I mean, the Magos, you know. Um, but we'll just hold on to it for the moment. A circadian assistant? You've got a learning assistant. Maybe Paige. I know, it's got to be Jerk, isn't it? It's going to be a Skatari. Do that a little later, though. Come on, Zeke. I'm actually wondering, if we're going to do this, why don't we go all in, wake this one up as well. Okay, so let's do the old uh, wood block in the doorway trick. Oh, they're leaving. Is it good? Back off, buddy. Let's see if we can get these people off the map. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, what are we doing? 
Okay. You know what? Save your ammo. We'll have the heavy one do this. <laughs> Didn't do enough damage, really. <laughs> See? Badass. Okay, the pulley here. Let's just... I just leave that for the moment. Are you guys off the map? As good as. Yeah, let's get going. Oh. <laughs> 84 humans? And the garbage unit. What are they rocking? Multi launchers, a triple rocket launcher, a doomsday. That's some scary stuff. Zeke, run for your life. One rocket launcher's fire. There it goes. <laughs> Where's the doomsday? Must be down. And how many scythers are left? All of them? Yeah, they've hardly taken out a single Scyther. Scythers are absolutely lethal. Right, before that gets completely resolved, let's have this built. Um, Zeke, you want to do the honours actually? Yes, yeah, badass. Drill arm and some recon armor helped a lot. Oh wow. Holy ordnance is going up. And the ammo as well, getting cooked off. These two. Wake these up. Make sure our turrets are off. Yep. Go for it, Z. You hit your own wall. <laughs> Oh! Page, you're not allowed to go out there. Okay, I think we're sorted. You shouldn't see us as a potential target. Take out this shithole. Uranium cool! How is Zig's mood? Working for a long time, buddy. Do a bit faster if we get you some help, won't it? What about Windle? Let's have a look at your abilities. Okay, Windle. Um, what do you have for us? Bio lightning. <laughs> How much damage that did, but it's cool as hell. Oh, here we go. Demons versus mechanoids. I think the scythers are going to rip these guys into that. Hey, Windell, you can go free and seek too. out a few actually. You were down to 48 scythers. Yeah, that went pretty much as I would have expected. <laughs> what was this for? Oh, this is the refugees, yeah. Three reinforced barrels, you beauty, and a psychic emanator. Don't know how to use that exactly. Maybe there's some uh, 
bit of lore that will allow us to use that. How are you holding up? Really well. What's your ammo situation like? 85, that should be plenty. We need to take out this one in order to get aggro the mix to come over. I'll look at some of these weapons. Well, Anaheim shotgun. Where's like the doomsday? Did that go off? I can't see anything down here. Could have been burned up or could have went off. All right, okay. Prison break. Okay, so both of you guys are trying to break out. Lady, do you mind punching one of them out? Oh, you killed him. Oh, he was going for the Paramount. Well, good job, man. Deserved it. Easy, you need to hit. You need to be a little bit closer, don't you? Yeah, what about now? You cannot do too great here. Is it because it's night time? Could be because it's night time. It's weird how they don't... Like, the range of this... Uh, auto cannon's so big they don't really seem to come for us. Okay, what's this quest all about? Uh, a Sanguifage Master and five thralls. Okay, fighting the Sanguifage. Two days to think about it. Wow, he's doing a really good job at killing these, actually, with that auto cannon. Not what I want you to do, though. I want you to shoot. The ship. Oh no, I got their attention, Zeke. Conversion? Oh yeah! Toro has been converted to the Imperial Cult. Let's recruit him. You're really doing a terrible, terrible job here, Jake. I hate to say it, I know you're out here risking your life, buddy. But you do need to hit the target. You can just take these on, actually. You know what? Just start targeting them, Zeke. How's your mood? Pretty bad. Have some yayo. There's not that many left. Less than 26. I say less than because some of these are... are downed. Yeah, targeting that didn't work anywhere near as effective this time. A new recruit, Toro! Another Psyker. Now, how are you? <laughs> You're missing a leg and a nose. Okay. Get your bionic leg. You're part of the Inquisitor's retinue. And I think we're going to give you the same Psyker outfits that we gave Windle. Oh, you're a 10 in mining as well. Wow. You're a miner for sure. Welcome aboard, Toro. Predict the path of bullets and swords. Wow, yeah. Need to actually... Drake's breath. We need to oh, seal wounds. Wow, cool. Molten beam. Like a melter. Psyker melter, I think. Okay, we need to get, get some practicing with those guys. Do we just go out here with a force? Okay, squads. Wipe this menace out. <laughs> right. And the other one. Good job, everybody. Have to fish through all of this stuff. If there's any cool weapons in there. For the moment, let's grab the components and advanced components before you head back home, guys. And I think that's where I'm going to call it for today, folks. It's a shame I wasn't able to get Crossroads Base completely finished off. But I'll do a bit of work in between episodes so that we're all ready to go take on the world in the next episode. Hopefully you'll join me for that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.